Now, now there's one thing about like um, like it, competitions. It's like when you know when you start playing hockey, you play for fun, and eventually kind of becomes competitive. Was the competitive aspect of hockey always part of fun, or did that, the competitive side of it kind of like come in a little bit later? But again, it was always based on fun. But the competitive side, I think there's something where it comes to hockey where it's always competitive. Again, as a grown adult now, growing up like through the ranks of that tyke, or when they used to call it tyke, all the way through, and now like playing some men's league. Even men's league gets sometimes gets carried away. You know, it's it's a, it's a very competitive game. Now, when you talk about the idea of t- competition, um, competition's healthy. Competition's good. I think I think you need competition in everything you do. If you don't, you're going to become stagnant. Now, when I say competition, where where I think we overlook things more than anything is results. Instead of the competition, pe- people blame the competition on a lot of things, but I don't think that's what it is at all. I think it's results. I think the whole idea of how everybody has to win that's a myth. The, the whole you need to learn to lose that's a that's a huge a huge part of our lives like i hate to say this and for everybody listen but life's hard like there's times that you there's there's things that happen in your life and you're going to have to deal with things and if you don't know how to deal with those things it makes it that much harder so the idea of competition i think especially when it comes to a game because at the end of the day if you lose a hockey game what happens you get to try again tomorrow right so you can learn a lot from the idea of competition but at the same time it's the results that I find that, that are, are the hindrance because everybody expects to win. Well, at the end of the day, you can only have one winner. They don't hand up hand up the Stanley Cup to every team. Oh, hey, who I don't even know who won the Stanley Cup last year? Uh, it was uh, Jesus. It was, uh, Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was so long ago. It wasn't Tampa Bay. Was <laughs> yeah, who who won? You guys would Does probably know, know the chat there. Won? Uh, you got to you got to see Colorado, Colorado. There you Colorado. Go. Yeah, Richie Hubble. Richie Hubble's still in his parade. Yeah. He's still, he's still floating down, down 17th Ave. Right, Colorado won. So that 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 whole thing of like Colorado won. Well, they don't give the Stanley Cup out to the other team and say, hey, you were close, right? And that there's there's lessons to that. There's there's things that make us stronger. There's things that develop character when we when we when we have to go through tough times. And I think that when we talk about competition, it's not the competition itself. It's the the, the prospect of the result and so many people put way too much weight on like the game ending when the reality is when what's the fun part the fun part is playing the game okay so that's where I, I see like it was always a competition for me i always wanted to be better than, than the other guy i always wanted to win but at the same time like when you don't that's okay like it, you can learn a lot from those situations and i think that's one of the things that, that we don't that we we overlook is perceiving like hey what can we take out of these lessons because they're life lessons right and i think that uh in terms of competition, I think that's what it's about. I think comp- I think competition is great in everything. Like I, I have a seven-year-old. Um, for people that don't know, I have a seven-year-old at home, and, and he's very he's smart. He's a smart kid. He, he's reading at a grade five level. Um, he, he understands a lot of things. But the thing that that I, that I find with him is like some of the times when I'm trying to push him in the competition, like to push him to try to, to to be better, to like work harder at something, then I have to I have to pull myself back and realize like no, maybe it's good that he he loses this one. Like maybe. Maybe if something happens and, and he, he has to he has faces a little bit of adversity, that's going to help him think a little bit more and a little bit deeper into how he can be better. And I think that's that's a that's a pretty um, significant thing that we we've taken away. I know there's lots of people that are on hockey teams or play spring hockey, and it's like, oh, I've played for six years and I haven't lost. And it's like, well, that's fine, that's great that you can say that you haven't lost, but at the same time, like if you turn 17 years old and you've never lost before. And you're playing in the Western Hockey League, and you, you get to playoffs, and you get to the final game, you get to Game Seven, and you lose Game Seven. How do you how do you bounce back from that? That's going to be the most devastating thing you've ever been through. So if you don't know how to deal with that, it's, if you, you can learn that at 12, but instead you're learning it at 17. Now it's that much harder to rebound from because there's all these expectations and and the fu- what about the future? Well, the future, right? And so I think that the idea of competition is it's healthy. It's just a matter of we, we need to focus more on on not paying so much attention to the result and take lessons from it rather than oh we won let's have a parade oh we won again let's have another parade parades get boring right I like that well, I like it's that. A bit, it's basically, basically like, it, like to it. simplify it and I think like you correct me if I'm wrong but you mean like the the competition itself the process is the positive basically but it's the people's focus on the end the end result is where where the negative kind of comes from basically. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because what what it does, what it does is you're no longer looking about. Because let's be honest, how many all the kids that are that are on this call right now, how many of you are getting paid to play? None. So like again, these are this is all experience, right? Minor hockey is about experience. If we don't experience things, how do we expect to get better? 
and it's about your experience not somebody else's but that's the thing is we waste so much on like the winning and the losing and like oh pe- there's kids that are nervous that like fake injuries or they fake sick because they don't want to play a game because it's not the game that they're worried about it's if they lose mm-hmm. if they lose well what's going to happen and it's like well no that's that's a part of part of what we need to experience we need to experience those things because if we don't how are we going to grow up? 